welcome back to the channel. It's Moon Day. <laughs> Welcome home. We're home. We're home. Guys, I've been home from Cali. If you guys watched my last vlog, I hope you guys enjoyed traveling around with me. It was very fun, but you know, damn well I'm a homebody. If you really like, listen, I'm so grateful. No, 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 no. I don't want to come off like that at all, but like something about being home is just so cozy. It's just so like, uh, we all deserve it. We all need a reset. We all need to recharge. And I definitely had my fun. That is definitely due for me to be, to sit my ass down. <gasps> but I'm so excited to catch up with you guys. Like, I don't know why. Like I've been home for exactly like 24 hours. And I was like, there's no reason or need for me to film right now. I have content ready to go on YouTube. Like I can take this time off. I can take a break. I don't need to film. But the way I was itching to talk to the vlog, like I was like, I'm home. There's so many things I want to talk to you guys about. And like, I literally am like itching to talk to you. So, hey, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys are excited to be back. I figured I would just give you a little life update. Kind of like, I don't really know the direction of this vlog. It wasn't even supposed to be a vlog. I was supposed to do just like a quick chit chat catch up video. But also I'm like, you know what? I don't know. I'm not in the mood to do my makeup right now. I just want to talk to you and be crusty, crummy, bummy. I literally washed my hair like two days ago and it started in, I love when it starts like a bun like this. <laughs> I just don't touch it and now it's like I got all these bangs and I got a bob basically let me just give you an apartment update because if you guys remember mom and Gabriel I know it's been it feels like forever mom and Gabriel moved to the condo basically but they come here like midweek like this week mom has conferences like Tuesday and Wednesday so I've been home alone and I'll see them this weekend though so I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna vlog like the fun parts of my week and just like chill in my down downtime. So this will be like the bummy moment of the vlog, but we're gonna see Ari on Friday. I'm so excited. And then we're gonna go to the movies with mom and Gabriel. We're gonna sleep over at the condo. Like we have some fun stuff in store this vlog. Like I'm so excited just to like be home and back to normal. So I figured I would just give you an update. I have literally just been laying in bed. Like I think my bones are starting to like, I'm losing muscle mass and like bone density by like laying in the bed for so fucking long. Cause look at this what the like i haven't made it in like two days and i've just been like living in it loving it full coverage podcast it's a vibe right now i was just watching h3 and i've been watching eleanor neal her true crime you know i was on my bailey sarian at first but you know i literally watched all of her videos and she's posting sporadically and as a content creator now i understand like i definitely give her a lot of grace a lot of flowers like she's been killing it for the past like how long has she been posting consistently every monday like twice a week too on youtube i'm like girl take your time like but also I'm like, I'm gonna need my true crime fix in another form. So I watched Kendall Ray for a while. Now I'm on Eleanor, like her little accent is so freaking cute. Love watching her shit. Oh my God, I'm so excited to catch up with you guys. Like, hey, are you guys vibing with me right now? Like, hey. You know what I also got? The unpacking game. Oh my gosh, back in the beauty desk. Like, wow. I'm gonna put some chapstick on for you guys, at least. I didn't brush my teeth or wash my face yet. It's 2 p.m. <laughs> Life's about balance though, remember that girls. I've been having a lot of feelings lately though. I've been feeling a lot of feelings. I kind of just want to talk to them, talk through them with you. I have some PR I want to open, like, okay. My mind is all over the place. Like I just want to tell you a thousand things. I'm just gonna give you a full like apartment update, okay? Since it's mine. Two nights ago, the Wi-Fi went out, okay? At 1 a.m. I am a YouTube girl, so I'm watching it on my TV and I can't watch it. The cable's not working. I can't load anything but tweets on my phone. And it's like 1 a.m. and I'm kind of just like laying there. I'm like, in the, I'm in the middle of this good ass fucking true crime story. I'm like, damn. So I waited like an hour for it to turn back on. Last night, the fucking power went off at 2 a.m. Okay, listen, I'm like staying up late. I'm like, oh, it's so late. Like I'm up, like I'm watching TV, I'm watching this spooky. The whole house went silent. Like the air keeps like a nice like vibration in the house, like the air conditioning and like nice little sound. Like it literally went, I was like, da -da 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 pitch black. I opened my eyes so wide. I was like, is this real right now? I could not stop shaking. <sighs> so anyway, that's kind of been my like, what? what is that? What is that? I'm gonna give you a closet update. Keep in mind, I haven't been home for like a month, dead ass. I've been home for like two, three days in between. But um, whoa, look how stacked it is in here. You know, it definitely looks a lot more crowded because I've moved this I put a new clothing rack in here. I'm grabbing stuff from the back one and putting it in the center. But I'm gonna go through this this week. So I'm just letting you know this is what it looks like now. Now the living room, babe. 
Okay, the living room. It probably looks a lot worse than it really is. This is just my stuff I have to unpack. I just, like, you know what I'm saying? I just opened it up, literally took what I needed out. I'm gonna unpack that today. I'm just giving you a, a start so that you guys, like, you know, get a satisfying finish when I get to it. Oh, so I got new luggage. Okay, that's a big one. And a carry-on. But they sent me the carry-on in pink, you guys. So I decided to go with away luggage. Look, it's a, like a petal pink. And it's pretty. But I bought the black. You see, I bought the black so that I could have a matching set. And petal pink doesn't match. So I'm gonna have to return that. I'm waiting for them to send me a shipping label to send it back. So that was nice, because we're finally gonna upgrade from this luggage. She was nice, but I can't with the dirtiness. Like the one that I got is a little bit bigger and it's like kind of making me a little nervous. So I'm gonna open this PR with you guys. I'm excited to get into it. I like to save it up nowadays, like so that we can just open, like have a good Christmas together. And I've been loving the Polaroid, you guys. Like look at this by my desk. It's so wholesome, like all my, all my favorite people, my dad on the grill, and Asher and Moss, Aiden and Coco. Polaroids make me so happy. This is the one behind my desk. It's literally just all being Ari. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are into it, let's open this PR. I really hope these are the clear ones. Hell! Oh my gosh, these are literally the ones I wanted so bad. Just like the plain clear sleigh. Wait, why are they so high on my face? What? What's going on? There you go. Why were they sitting like that at first? Also, like, did they fit my, like, are they, what's going on here? <sighs> Damn, these don't bang like I wanted them to. They fit weird on my face. <laughs> it's giving bug. Is this Caudalie? Oh my God, it is Caudalie. <gasps> What is in here, bitch? Herbal tea, this is some tea. Oh my gosh, a temperature controlling mug. That is so cool. From Ember, hour and a half battery life. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make some tea later. That's the tea. What, this is so fun. Okay, and another, another Caudalie mask. You guys remember New York Fashion Week when Remy gifted this? I also already have one and it's my third one, but it's the best mask. This is what I used also in the LA vlog when I did my nose mask. This brush is so nice too. This is actually a mask brush, okay? The one that I used was like, actually like a makeup brush. So maybe I'll give this one to my mom. She doesn't really do masks. This is my favorite one, the Vinergetic C Plus Detox Mask. Thank you, Coda Lee. Oh, look at this mini Dior bag, what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is the Rouge Dior forever. Oh my gosh, okay, so this officially launched. I did a campaign when they were uh, still under embargo. So it's so exciting to finally get the official. Oh my God, this is so fucking cute. Oh my gosh, this is literally a Christian Dior little thing I get to keep. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh my gosh, this is such a nice shade though. What is this one? This one's 200, oh my gosh. And these are so matte, you guys. The Rouge Dior Forever lipsticks, they're so matte and they actually stay on so long. Like when I tried this on for the campaign and I wore it, I literally wore it for the night out. I literally reapplied it once. It's like, damn, okay. Thank you, Dior. I love, like, this is so cute. I always keep shit like this. Like this will be my glasses holder or something. This is so cute, a little Dior thing. Morning guys. So, um, yesterday, the tea about yesterday, right? I was still sorting out my feelings. After sorting out my feelings via camera, I called Reefy, I called mom, we were on FaceTime, literally both of them were like an hour long, just talking, getting their opinions, and I felt so much better after like I got it off my chest. You know what I'm saying? I'm so grateful I have mom and Reefy. And I feel like I could definitely express it more clearly and better, the topics that I wanted to talk about, okay? Like it's not even that deep. But since you guys didn't get to see the unboxing yesterday, I was like, damn, like I, I wanted to unbox with you guys. Now that I decided that, you guys didn't even get to see like what I unboxed. So I got some really fun fucking stuff. I got sent my first Patrick Tapior cream bronzer and powder. So I'm excited to use this. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do like a full face because I need to do just the lipsticks for NARS. So I need to have my makeup one. This is Hourglass blush and highlights. Like, ooh, bronzer. And how pretty is this? I did want to try this Kosas Plump Juicy Spray. Does that smell like the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray? Is that why it smells like, what does this smell like? I think it, what does it smell like? Let me smell like the bottle. I 
I really like the packaging, y'all. It takes it there for me. Oh, also this Lancome Edol, Edol perfume. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one smells so good. I love when I spray a perfume on just to like test it out. And then I'm like, damn. Every five minutes I'm like, oh my God, this smells so good. That's how I was yesterday when I put this on. I was like, I'm be casually spraying and smelling so good right now. I got some MAC Glow Play blushes and I have Heat Index fire i love that pink he's got this really nice berry i'm kind of into the berries i never thought i would i have this one grand i also have this one it's a little bit too light for me so i think this would be mom's color and i think ari would like this one this is lily lash so devilish these are some halloween lashes oh this is the fenty beauty invisimat i'm so happy they sent another one because i gave mine to mom this is a mac black lipstick like this had me geeked i was like i don't know if i've ever put black lipstick on before and i'm so excited to try it it gives rihanna oh also fancy thank you fancy thank you everyone thank you everyone this is the ease drop um the glow enhancer i've had the skin tint but this is like their glow Ooh, i got this tarte man eater palette oh my gosh this is so beautiful like this is just a beautiful palette like the gold accents and like the the text, the mirror, the quality of it. Like this makes me so happy. I'm like, damn, should I get into eyeshadow? These are the NARS Power Matte Lipsticks that I'm gonna be doing a video on right now. Ooh, the Shape Tape Concealer. Okay, so I have three concealers in here I wanna try. That's the dilemma. Cause I really wanna try the Milk Makeup Future Fluid Concealer. It gives full coverage when I try like a little swatch. I think this one's from my under eye, yeah. This is the Huda Beauty Concealer. And you know what the T is that Michaela she actually reviewed these. Okay, these are M Cosmetic blushes. I got the original cream blushes that were in this the same packaging and everything. And I tried them and I was so excited. And honestly, it didn't give much. I was like, damn, that sucks. I was so excited. Like I put it on and literally no pigment. And it was just like shine. I didn't really think much of it. I was like, damn. That fucking sucks. Like, I was excited. Then Michaela, I saw her on my For You page literally being like, you know, I love when a brand listens. Like, once they get feedback and they actually change something about it. Because the original ones of these blushes gave no pigment. And with the cream blush community right now, we need pigment. And I was like, oh my god, facts. Facts. So she tried these and was like, it, and it gave. It gave from what I saw. So I'm excited to try these again now. <gasps> and the packaging. Like, so cute. And this is Shayla's Makeup by Shayla Lip Liner and Liquid Lip. I want to try these. Two more brushes from Tarte. I don't know what this one's for. Probably just like an all-over powder, but I don't really do that. Maybe my mom would use this more, but it's so nice. This one is really interesting. It looks like something I'd use in the kitchen. <laughs> but you know what's actually so cute is that my mom, she didn't know like what her brushes were for, like which brushes for what. And I just assumed that she knew. And she was using like a big fluffy brush for her concealer to put her concealer on. I was like, oh, mommy. <laughs> she was sitting there like trying to blend her concealer. And she was like, yeah, it like wasn't working well. And I was like, oh my God, mom. And it was like the softest, biggest, fluffiest brush. <laughs> I was like, this is for your powder, ma. This is for your powder. You need a dense brush for your concealer. Oh my gosh. It was so cute. Oh, this is the Tres Luce brow pencil. So those are all my honorable mentions that I'm so excited to try today. I'm gonna do my makeup. Witch out. It's so nice to be home and like have the creative juices flow flowing again because like, you know, once you're so freaking busy, all you're thinking about is just getting your stuff done. But I will never forget when I first went on the Minaj trip, I always reference this trip, but like I learned so much in that one weekend. It's just like the crazy pressure that I felt. I was like, I need to create all the content in the world. Like, <gasps> Like, how, what do I want to do? Like, and I had no freaking idea what I wanted to do. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to just wait till the inspo hits me when I'm there. And I just ended up getting so much fucking content. And a lot of it I didn't even end up using. Like, that happens a lot. Like, I'll get so much content I don't even end up using. Which is just like, it's interesting seeing how it ends up playing out. Honestly, let's talk about school first. Let's talk about nursing first. Because I know a lot of you guys, like, follow me on my nursing journey because you are a nursing student too or like you're interested or you graduated or you are a nurse right now like and that's awesome and obviously you guys are curious you guys follow me through the graduation through my journey my last classes i'm glad that we got to share that together with the nclex you know a lot of the girls are asking when am i taking my nclex what's the tea there you know your nclex is your basically licensure test to like get your license to work as a registered nurse 
okay and that's basically the next step like once you graduate and you want to pursue your nursing career that's your priority is to go get that take that test i'm really grateful with that like my life had an like an, another path that i could pursue with like a passion that i love like social media you guys oh my gosh that's like my dream it's like my dream job what so you know obviously when the store opens i'm like i'm gonna give this my all i decided hold on mm. need a moment for that refi spin this is a refi duo brush you guys yes this is the nars light reflecting foundation like don't sleep on it <gasps> so good hola mm. Mm. sorry i needed a moment for that i always do i'm just really blessed that my dream passion is an option for me to take full time and put all my attention and energy into so that's definitely the path that path that i decided to take i did want to take my test like it, originally i was like i want to take my test that's the next step like i just want to take my test and i'm gonna be real with y'all it has been so hard for me to open my books after you graduate you toss that cap you're like oh my god like i did that like i finally get a break like i've been hustling so fucking hard like <gasps> i'm so excited to just have my summer and chill like oh uh, it's such a fucking relieving feeling like when you graduate wow i started getting questions when i'm taking my nclex literally the day of the day that i toss my cap when are you taking the nclex 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 every single day since and i'm like damn girl like can you let me have my second like let me have a second let's just not think about it for a second like chill 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 not too much not too much oh this is the patrick ta bronzer contour did you just see how that melted into my skin shade deep one and this is an hourglass brush i literally just picked it up like this oh my god that's so nice as of right now i haven't started studying i don't really plan on starting to study anytime soon you know knowledge is power like no one can take what i learned from school from me like i did that i learned that and i don't think it's going anywhere like you know i was thinking my mom was telling me like you know how many people graduate and don't use their degree first of all and how many people graduate and then decide that you know there's another path that they want to take you know think about someone in your life like i can reference a few people who like are were in that position too so it's kind of like you know you have a dream like a vision for your life and like that's basically just a, a rough sketch this is what i think i'm gonna do and sometimes it doesn't work out like that for the better or for the worse like life has its own interesting ways you know so yeah as of right now i'm not studying i haven't really planned to take my test that's kind of just the update for nursing and i know you guys get it i know you guys understand i know you guys see my hustle my passion and in, in content creating i'm gonna try this milk concealer i need to wet the sponge though but yeah to be honest that question kind of triggered me a little bit like in the beginning because i was like damn like let me let me breathe y'all but i totally understand like obviously you guys are curious this is the huda beauty one similar shades this one's just a little bit brighter now that i've told my parents that like you know i'm not it's not a priority of mine to take my test right away you know if i want to pursue nursing i will open my books and i'll relearn my things and you know freshen my memory now that i've come to terms with my parents like i've talked to them about it you know they fully support me and my decision and now it's, it doesn't trigger me anymore when you guys ask because i feel like it was something that i felt kind of guilty about you know what i'm saying i'm like oh my god like i told myself i was going to take this test and like the days are flying by and i haven't even studied yet i haven't even looked into like fingerprinting and stuff and girl it's okay like it's okay i feel i feel a lot more at peace about it okay yeah that's how my life path is going and you know what's funny wow that's beautiful wow huda beauty okay this is the milk one full coverage um a lot of my nurse friends too haven't taken the test yet they plan on going like straight into the career so you know it's really not a rush like a lot of people don't take their test right away like not even the summer after graduating like obviously that's like our goal is to like take it right away as soon as possible so we can like have as much information in our head still but a lot of times it doesn't go like that like my group of five only one of them has taken it yet and she passed and it was so freaking exciting she texted in the chat she's like guys guess what and i was like like <gasps> it's so exciting but also very nerve-wracking and like no one really wants to rush and take it like it's a big deal okay so literally both those concealers look so fucking pretty i want to try one of these blushes now this one's really pretty too i've never tried to blush this color it's like orange you guys roast me how i say orange let's see orange 
Okay, tea is that like there's no really liquid product in here. Like this dropper's not like dropping nothing. What? Okay, there you go. Now let's see. This looks so pretty already. You guys, what? Okay, I mean, I see it a little bit, but I see it. I see it. I see it on camera. But you see how it literally just leaves a shine? Oh no. I really want this to win right now. I'm gonna try to blend it with my finger. This is the other color. Okay, see, maybe it's the finger blood blend. Like initially there's a lot of pigment, but then it kind of just turns into oil. Like it's like an oil. And then blending with a sponge literally soaks it all up. So I don't know. I think this is really for like a super natural everyday look for the girls. Like Michelle Phan, if you guys know like her makeup, how she likes her makeup, this is perfect for her routine. But I think what I'm looking for is definitely something more... <laughs> you know what I have been loving again though? The makeup by Mario. Plumberry. Like, oh, it's so pretty. And another one I've been loving too that's very similar is... I just realized the colors are super similar. One of my nurse girls just texted me. Look at this one. Charlotte Tilbury Passion. Look how similar they are. And I always do my blush before my... Oh, I always do my blush before my concealer. That's why. I'm like, wait, what? Because I usually set my concealer right away, but I was like, why do I have to put my blush on right now? And why is my concealer just sitting? I gotta set it. So basically, yeah, that's kind of like my chapter for nursing. So, you know, I'll definitely talk about it. But as far as a test, you guys, it's okay. You don't gotta ask me no more. <gasps> but I know the TikTok girls haven't seen this. I know a lot of the girls haven't seen this too, so they're still gonna keep asking. But you guys know. You guys know the inside scoop. Yes. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Honestly, I'm loving the Huda one. Another topic I want to talk about was friendships and like Annika specifically because I, me and Ari have gotten some like, not aggressive, just like, I don't know, rude and kind of just like, anyway, specifically, we got this DM that was like, oh, y'all just said fuck Annika, huh? And I'm like, sometimes, okay, I, there's a lot of different feelings that I have about this because sometimes, at first I was literally like, what the fuck? Like, it's just funny. Then I was like, sometimes I laugh. Sometimes I'm like pissed about it. Sometimes I'm like, it just rolls off my shoulder. Like, but just that comment in general, I'm like about my friendships and kind of just like my relationships in my life. Like, you know, with social media, obviously I'm sharing my life and I, I am opening my life to the public opinion. These are some things that I'm realizing with social media is that people will kind of just paint their own narrative. If there's like any type of like open space or like, you know, you see less of someone on my vlogs, like it automatically means that we're not friends anymore. Like that's just crazy. That was just crazy to me because like we know what it is like me and my girls know what it is and you know at one point we were hanging out every single weekend we were the trio like we were outside every weekend and life we all have our own life paths you know what i'm saying this is my youtube channel and that's annika's business as well too like i'm not i'm here to say and share you know what my life path is and we're still very much friends we're still very much close like y'all things start up like like you go back to work back to school I want to give you guys more details, but again, it's like, it's not my business to share Annika's. It's not my place to share Annika's business. I know what her life is like. I know what she's doing. I'm proud of her. I'm watching her fucking flourish. And she can't be outside all the time. Like, she has priorities. She is a responsible woman. She's going to do what she needs to do. Oh my God, see, this gets me like, I don't know. I feel like I need to defend like my friendships, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, even if it was some shit that went down, like, you know what I'm saying? Life happens and it's not that's not the case but i'm just saying like just because you see less of someone doesn't mean that we're not friends anymore period and honestly i've had a few falling outs with friends previously on the channel and i talked about both those experiences so i mean like you all saw how i felt before like i mentioned that something went down and you didn't see those people anymore <laughs> so it's not the case with ani like i understand you see like me and ari have been like kiki and hanging out a lot more on the channel but like you know maybe ani doesn't want to be on the channel like not everyone wants to be on present on social media like that like she's a very low-key girl you know just because you don't see her in the vlogs does not mean that we don't hang out i don't need to be vlogging every like pizza session and late night kiki and just like car ride you know so i just wanted to say that for just because I'm gonna get everything off my chest that I've been feeling because I can't really control the public's perception of my relationships and me and y'all filling in the gaps. That's like, you know what I'm saying? I can't do much about that besides just, I just feel like it's important to be respectful of what creators decide to share, you know, because it's personal to me too. 
like as much as it's like oh my entertainment like oh my youtube girl like oh like what's the tea this episode like it also is my life yeah i know you guys get it i'm just saying it for the few people who want to be like oh y'all said fuck annika like get out of here get 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 and obviously I miss her too, like I miss her on my channel too, y'all. And I know you guys like build connections with people, like people in my life through my channel. But you know, I just feel like just be gracious, be respectful. Love you guys. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go in with like her. Ooh, oh my gosh. So it's kind of like blush and shimmer. I'm into that one. Should I try another color? I'm gonna try the gold one. Oh yeah. Oh my eye. I'm so excited for fall, y'all. Like fall makeup. Oh. Now we can fully like really beat our faces and not worry about it like summer. Oh my gosh. That's why I was only outside at night because summer like makeup would not last during the day. A few more topics I want to talk about. I want to talk about ads and just like sponsorships in general. You know, sometimes comments like, I'm so lucky. I have such a beautiful audience like you guys. I don't want you to feel like I'm dragging it right now, but just like just things I wanted to talk about that I don't get to talk about. So I'm just kind of just like speaking all at once. Just just knocking them all out right now. But doing ads, someone was like, love you, but like you've been doing so many ads lately. And that that just killed me, honestly, because always from the jump, like I never, I, I remember my first ad, I was so uncomfy. I like did not want to post it. Like they were like, make sure you put hashtag ad. And I was like, oh my God, like I don't want to put hashtag ad. Like they're going to know like I'm doing an ad right now. Like they're going to fucking hate me. I don't know why I felt that way. And you know, it's crazy because like even the OG YouTubers used to talk about that. Like Aaliyah was talking about how back in the OG YouTube days, like if they knew you, they were if they knew you were doing an ad, like they was mad. And it's crazy because like it's just changed so much. I know it's not the case nowadays, but I like to keep it real. I like to keep my word authentic and like when I recommend something, I mean it. And it hasn't that has not changed. But I don't want to come off like a freaking ad machine. I like that was always like my thing. And when these beautiful opportunities come through for me and, you know, at one point I never thought I was if I was ever going to get like a sponsorship or like campaign again. So like each one that came through, I was just like, yes, of course, this is awesome. Like, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And at one point I had like 21 campaigns going on like during school, too. And I remember like my manager asked, she was like, are you OK? Are you are you doing OK? And I was like, yeah, like okay like why and she was like well it's just, it's just a lot like you you literally have more campaigns than like everyone combined and i was like what <laughs> what and like when i really sat and thought about that i was like oh my god like am i doing too much because like i'm i don't know i'm new to this i'm new to this like it still feels like i'm so new to this and like i'm learning like this is these are moments that i'm learning where i'm like damn mo like you don't need to say yes to everything and you know you're blessed like if you keep pouring into your platform, you keep building your platform, like more opportunities will come for you. Like, it's okay. You don't have to say yes to everything. But a lot of the times I'm just like, I love this brand. This is so awesome. Like I always use their shit. Like I would love to work with them. It's such a blessing that this is like also my income. Like, and that's never the motive for me. Like, obviously it's such an amazing bonus, but like I did this for free for so long and I love to do it. It's just so awesome that, you know, I can also pay my bills and I can also buy my next apartment. Like, it's so exciting. And that's a whole other conversation is like money. Gruh, I don't even know how to, like, I grew up from humble beginnings, okay? We was very much, money was always just like a struggle in our life, okay? So now that I have it, it's kind of like, I don't know. It doesn't feel like mine. It doesn't feel real. I don't feel like, oh, like this is how much money I have now. I'm gonna go spend it. Like, I think I'm definitely more comfortable, but also that's a conversation that like, I've been talking to my parents about lately and it's just it's so funny because like the way that I was raised like my dad oh my gosh he always was like if I ever won the lottery y'all would not know this would just go in the investment in the bank account not spending it y'all wouldn't feel it y'all feel it in little ways like maybe a vacation here maybe a vacation there but y'all wouldn't know and like he's a type where I was like oh we're at Target we're getting what we need not what we want and I just I was raised like that like you know so it's funny like I literally took my siblings to Target when we were in, when I was in Cali last vlog. They were like, "Money, money! Like, can I buy this? Can you get me this? Can you get me this?" I was like, first of all, who said I have money? Who said we were in here to buy toys?" Like the way that I was just like that, I was just like, "Oh my god!" I'm s and Asher literally was like, "Oh, you're your dad's daughter." I was like, "Excuse me!" He hit me that with the hot sauce too. Like we we're, I like my shit extra spicy, and he was like, "You're your dad's daughter." I was like. Who are you saying this, Mary? Now, like, he was so funny, bro. But, like, facts. 
Anyways, yeah, I never want to come off like a fucking ad machine and I definitely have chilled out just in terms of saying yes. But yeah, I kind of wanted to explain the process a little bit more about just like doing campaigns in general because sometimes I could say yes to a campaign today, but it's not due for like a month. Sometimes I can say yes to a campaign today and it's due by end of week, like two, three days from then. A lot of the, I noticed that a lot of the timelines like will end up being due the same week and all of them will go live the same week, which is just like, it just kills me because I just hate that it happens that way and I wish I had more control over it, but sometimes that's just how it be. So yeah, definitely moving forward. I want to be more, oh my God, this, is one, this one's too close to my, yeah, these are cute. So devilish, Lily Lashes, but yeah, that's what I want to say about ads is that I know, I feel like 99% of what you guys think about, you know, creators and how their content is delivered and stuff like that, we're probably thinking the same thing. You know, we have our own visions for what we want for our brand and our platform and what we want to spread and what we don't want to be and what we do want to be and how we want this to come out. And a lot of the times with life in general, it doesn't happen that way. And that's okay. Like, we're not perfect. Like... We're, we are all very much human. I'm heavy on that human. Like, we are all human. You know that. I feel like it's so important just to, like, handle people with grace and, you know, be forgiving, benefit of the doubt, see the best in people, give them room to make mistakes and grow and live from in general. And then on top of that with social media, like, I was just watching Arnell's last YouTube video and she was spitting facts. Like, I was just watching her like, yes, T, 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 because... Having a platform, you are held to a certain, you know, responsibility. Like, you're responsible for what you, you know, put out. And, like, for your consumer, what you're responsible for that. But also, the expectation. We didn't sign up for the expectation of being perfect. And I was like, facts, though. Because a lot of people, like, hold creators and, like, to another standard of just perfection. You gotta be a perfect person. You can't be angry. You can't be caught lacking. You can't be this, can't be that. But, like, like we're still human. I feel like that... There's like, that line gets blurred where just because we're sharing it means that we can't also experience, you know, shitty moments and, you know, <clears throat> specifically think about Michaela right now because she is getting roasted and it honestly gave me so much anxiety yesterday. That's that's what I was like going through and like, I'm glad I sorted that out with like Reefy and mom because they really are my rocks. They make me feel like it's going to be okay, you know, but with Michaela, y'all, they are dragging her over a clip that when I showed Reefy and mom the clip that they were roasting her about, they were like, that's the clip. And I was like, OK, because I thought the same thing. Like, she's just complaining about her job. And that's something that all humans fucking do, no matter what the job is. Like job, like working is work. And honestly, at the end of the day, none of us want to really be working. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't know. If you guys know what I'm talking about, an old clip of hers is kind of circling around now that where she was just like, you know, I could tell she was frustrated. She was like pissed at the end of the day. Like she was just overworked and just like stressed and that's normal. And she was kind of just like, you know, you guys need to try being an influencer for the day. Like I was up at 6 a.m. filming for five hours and editing for like six hours and I had calls from like 12 to five and I'm just sitting down. It's like 5 p.m. and I'm finally eating my dinner or something like that. Like she was just frustrated and she shared that frustrated moment um just about her career and her life and you know to some people it really rubbed them the wrong way me seeing that i i get it and my mom was saying she was like girl i'll be sitting on a computer you know what i'm saying busting my ass stressing my ass off like selling these appliances and stuff online and then the workers want to come like pick up the actual appliances and drive them to places and deliver them and install them and they want to say that we don't do no fucking work they think we sit on our ass all day just sit on the computer all fucking day like no i'm not like if that was the case i would not be this fucking stressed and I was like, facts, mom. Like, everyone complains about their job. Everyone thinks that, like, this job is worse than this job, but my job is harder than your job. And, like, it doesn't have to be like that. Like, it's okay for us to express, like, our different struggles in life. And it was just a shame that people, like, really are dragging her. Like, and they were just waiting on her downfall. And it just makes me, it just makes me sad. It just makes me sad. And it makes me nervous because I'm, like, <sighs> just seeing how quick everyone just, like, switched up. I was just, like... Girl, you don't deserve that. This is just a general consensus to spread your kindness, be kind, be gracious, be understanding of humans in general, like we're human. I'm not just speaking for me, like just in general, in your general everyday to day life. You know, my mom was saying like half full, half empty, like the glass is half full, half empty. Like for real though, like some people really see that glass, they're like, it's half empty, so I don't want it. And then me over here, I'm like, give me that fucking water, bitch, I'm thirsty as fuck. Like, yes, like we got water, like. 
I don't know. I'm sure the miserable people don't want to be miserable, but it's something that, you know, you got to just be self-aware, work on it, however you need to, like, talk through it, go to see a therapist. I don't know. There's, like, do things that make you happy. Spend more time doing things that make you happy, make you feel full, make you feel alive, make you feel... I don't know. I don't know what the hell I mean. I'm just going on rants and on rants on rants. I have two minutes left from this SD card. I got 1% battery left. But I love talking to you guys. Welcome back to the fucking vlog. Welcome back to the vlog. So I guess this will be a vlog. I was just going to do like a makeup chit chat. But I want you guys to make cake pop pops with me. I want to make cake. Oh my god, I can't say this word. I want to make cake pops tomorrow. And then me and mom are going to the movies. And then we're going to sleep over at the condo and hang with mom and Gabriel. And I think that'd be really fun. So see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Uh. Vlog! Ah! <laughs> Vlog! It's spooky. Oh, look how tiny it oh, is. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> What did I just crawl out of? Oh. Wait, can I turn this down? Air. Yes. So. I feel like good. I think like roast Why? beef and like mayo. <laughs> I wish. Like stank. I wish she had a little tang to it because she smelled like flowers. Aww. Good. Because look at this but grass like nest too. Fuck. I like a little fuck. Like, that's why I always be moving my piercing around. Piercing people, you know. Like <laughs> cheesy. Mmm. Cheesy goodness. I'm trying to get to know that smell though. Because I know how. My ears be stinking though. I be like... No, imagine mm. that. Just like when you hit it, like you hit a sweet spot. Ah, flavor <laughs> bomb. <laughs> Everyone missed Ari. Everyone give her kisses. Give her flowers. Stop. Oh stop, stop. Oh, I literally. I'm back. Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm doing like, oh my God, Ari, the debrief I did yesterday. This is going to be like a short vlog. It's going to be cute. like a catch up debrief, bro. I was spilled some tea. I was talking about all my feelings. I had so much anxiety this week. I got to fill you in. The like, girls, I just filled them in. But currently, we're at Walmart and we're about to make cake pops. We're about to make cake pops. Are we still doing caramel apples? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if that was your tea. And yeah. can you eat all of it? No. You can't have any of it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I don't want it. It's okay. My it's just for fun. It's just for fun. Yeah. It's for fun. It's for shits and gigs. Yeah. And Mom and Gabriel, Mom was like, bring yeah. some over. I was like, duh. You got snacks on snacks on snacks. And we're about to pop um, off. Like, one thing I would yeah. do is trust us with our food. Especially... Yeah. She got a little. You think? I got one recipe, bro. Yeah, but it'd be banging. Like, if your one recipe is good, yeah. I'm not gonna assume that the rest are gonna be bad. That took so much practice. Yeah, though. but still, like, we're going in with high spirits. All right, yeah, yeah. No, I confidence. trust us. Like, confidence. What? She made it look so easy, though, bro. Right, right. And K pops are so easy. You literally you made cake, it crumble it. No, but I've seen people <laughs> make them. I've seen no, I, like people yeah. like I used to be a baker so I was always like I'm gonna make like that was on my list. Oh for real? That like, when I was little Easy not cake? so much. No, like that I was like baking uh, like cupcake with like a ooh. pastel pink wrapper. Yes! In the middle. Okay, because I fucking suck. I'm Every time I try to make a cookie that. or a cupcake or something, even right. on my easy bake, Good. like I would fuck that shit up. Good. 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 That was then. This, this is, is now. now. <laughs> but still I'm feeling good. Yeah. Yes! Okay. Wait. I just talked Wait, so I... much that it, like... <laughs> You're like, like then she was she like, yes! <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I was like, no. Loki that, that, Loki that, Loki that. Okay, what else? I kind of want to talk to them. Yeah, me too. I'm like, what are you going to talk about? Comfortable. Let's get comfy. But do we even know what we need to buy in here? Because I feel like we'll definitely just walk I in and start walking around. Okay, we definitely need... How do you make caramel? Don't we just buy that drizzle? Oh, you can buy the drizzle? Yeah. Okay. My face is switching like, right now. <laughs> you know, you just do too yes, much. Yes, and you have like a lot like, going on. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I know exactly what That's who I... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ari, it's not the time. Like, <gasps> yo, <Yeah, well, laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, we need to take some deep breaths. Dios mio! Yeah. And I got a Wait. barky ass cough too. I was like, that crispy ass inhale. <laughs> Wait, let me get this cough. Let me go, let me go. Wait, okay, too much is going on right now. I'm sweating Wait, now. These look really nice. They look cute. Your natural nose are buzzy buzz. Mine are all fat. Yours are long and skinny. I <laughs> like that. Mine are like, mm. Stop. <laughs> like hugging my nail. Like no, bear you get hugging. the, do the tip. Nah. 
Oh. And they're not fat, <laughs> bro. Get out of here. Yeah, but these are long as fuck. They look good. You have a tip on there? No, actually. So, why did you what? <laughs> but it took me a while to get here. Remember last time I got them done, they were so short. Yeah, that's on mine are. I'm gonna just give them a second. Yeah. Because they're feeling strong. All right, the next time, yeah. Exactly. That was a lot. That was what a were lot. You even I don't know. About? We're trying to figure out what we need in okay. here. So the caramel Cake apples. <laughs> 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 the caramel apples are easy. You yeah. just get the Granny Smiths. Their dead ass called Granny Smith. Like Granny, yeah, I know. Granny, Granny. And then I have chocolate chips at home. We can like re up okay. and then get some like. You get some like toffee chunks. Yeah, I like almond slices. Right. Go ahead. And that's really it for that. Mhm. Mm just cut them up, and I have like the to cut yeah. the apples. Oh my god! So that one's like so easy. Boring. Yeah. The cake pops are where we're getting down and dirty. How do we? Get the stuff. I'm like, pretty sure it's just you take a cake, crumble it, like mix it with frosting, roll it into balls. Oh, so you make a cake first? But like making a cake, like, and it doesn't have to be cute anyway. So yeah, because you're gonna crumble it. <gasps> so we're making a whole cake, okay? And then you put icing in it. And, and then, then you roll it up in a ball. And then we get the sticks. I'm pretty sure they have everything in here. Yeah, I think they do. And then you just gotta get our icing. Mm hmm. Is Should it we mix icing? Other stuff too? Is it icing or like melted chocolate? Oh, oh! I think it's melted chocolate. Yeah, I think so too. Cause then you <gasps> freeze them. Cause then you freeze them. Yeah. Cause I don't think you have to. Yeah, I don't think you like bake bake cake pops after uh -huh. like, the baking is the cake. Yeah. So it's already cooked. Oh my god, we should probably have a recipe and like a fucking ingredients <laughs> list, huh? Yeah, but it's kind of fun. When it's kind of fun because like we already like, like know it all. Like, like we why not literally just, got it. Yeah. Just wing it. Like. It's but okay, so we're making pumpkin. So cute. I'm like, we should try some other stuff too. Okay, we like an eyeball. So I think, ooh, let's do an eyeball. Okay, I thought you were gonna hate on that because I was like, it's a little no, ugly. No, 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 an eyeball. What else we could? The pumpkin is so cute though. Like, oh my gosh, the way she did a little chocolate chip as a little stem. Mhm, mm that was so, so cute. cute. <laughs> um, like, if you wanted to do the green, I didn't really like the green leaf. I thought just leave it at the thing. Yeah. Maybe some of them have a little. Just a little bit, yeah. But all of them are like all of them yeah. together. <laughs> I was yeah. like, whoa. <laughs> the green was a lot. Okay, that's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was dead. No, literally. Okay, so should we go in? Should we make yeah. a list? Vamos. Or should we just wing it? Um. Do you know if you have like, do you have eggs, butter, and olive oil? Mm, yeah, but I'm like, what the f? I just got egg by that. I just scrambled a whole egg in front of your face. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, and what? Ooh, that's really good. That was clean. <laughs> wow. Oh. All right, vlog. Woo. Let's go get these ingredients and let's make these fucking cake pops and caramel apple drizzle crunches. Crunches. <laughs> 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 Look. Oh my Melt -toms, like they knew what the fuck was going on. How oh do my orange? Red? Oh, wait. Red and, and yellow. No, red and green. Red and green makes brown. Oh my god, I was always so bad at art. <laughs> <laughs> this is orange for real, right? And we can yeah. use red for like blood. Yeah. Whoa, feel this though. It's a big chunk. Why is this one Wait. different? Oh, she probably melted in like oh, transport. transport. <laughs> yeah. Damn, <gasps> hot ass drugs. Hot ass drugs. Yo. Yo. I think we should get white. Yeah. You think? Because I was like, what if we need a light in it? Well, we can do like the skulls with that. Yeah, true. Oh my God, I'm and literally grabbing everything. And then maybe like a. I feel like green is like, I don't know. Yeah. Or should we do or, it again? You think we'll do it again? Yeah. Or it's like. Why not? It's fine. We could. Should we do the last one? Oh, okay, wait. Maybe no, we like don't. Yeah. Of like yeah. So I think white, red, yellow. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the gold sticks though? That's fire. Yeah. Should we do gold too? One. Yes. This is fun. Oh, they have eyeballs already. <gasps> That's cute. That is really the cute. The tiny ones. Oh, oh, my, god. oh, my, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, the skunk. <laughs> what is that? <gasps> Whoa, Whoa, it's a monster. What is that, though? I don't know. A but cloud? This one is like amazing. <laughs> like, I resonate with him. Oh, this one is cute. Like, I guess. This is so much fun. I know. Writing job. Oh, they have all different. These okay. Are yeah. These are babies. Yeah. Um, Okay, I feel like we're good here. Yeah, me too. <laughs>
Part of me thinks I should think a little bit longer, though. I'm like... Just so much, like, enticing, colorful prints. I know. Like, what is this? This is gummy bear mix. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm like, do we need that? No. It's a standing decorator thing. 44 oh, look. pops. Wait, did we grab six? Yeah. Oh. Should we just do, like, this? And I think this is, like, Walmart brand, too. It's not even... Like, yeah. let's just save some coins. Yeah. It's like, what are we just going to do? That's all we saw them. But you think we need two? Maybe. I would grab two. Period. A sloth one? I love a sloth. Wait, a cow? Ooh! <laughs> Is it cute though? She's fuck. Look at her face. Is it cute? <gasps> her little <laughs> Her weave. Why the are wig? they twinning? <laughs> Damn. She's left good. Bro, so. you know what I've realized? When we went to New York, I literally was every time I looked at the camera, I brought up their damn wig. Imagine <laughs> if I had a wig on it. Every time someone looked at me, they were like, wig, wig, wig you have a wig on. Guys, Sorry. She's so cute. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> oh my God, it literally says Love Moo. No, uh -uh. My name is Love Moo. That is so cute. That's fucking gonna wear this though, Bro, actually. so get it. I'm sick. Which one are you getting? A concept. My name is Fab and Fox. Ooh. Wow. Oh, and she's a pink one. I thought that was a pig. Whoa. Why is she cute? cute. What? No, it's too much? Her, I feel like mine might be a little too small, don't you think? This is a large, though. I just feel like my legs are so thick. <laughs> but, like, it's me. <laughs> it's like nothing. This is like, yeah. But I love, bro, look at her lashes. You got lashes too, dude. <laughs> Let's be with my glue on lashes. <laughs> See you with your extensions. I like it, and the pink is so pretty. I love her. Her hair. Oh, slick. Her hair, her hair. I just like her hair. <laughs> I like her too. Don't switch up. Who do you resonate with? Do not. That's the tea. Honestly, none of these hoes. <laughs> none of these hoes, but beggar skin shoes. And her hair. <laughs> like, what? Yo. These are crazy. I forgot that. Like the thing about Walmart is that they have these crazy ass collabs. <laughs> Fruity mm. pebbles. I not say what? <laughs> you know what? what? I just sounded like Pac my drink. Dr. My diet, Doctor Kelp. <laughs> my giant, Doctor Kelp. <laughs> Whoa, classic white seems crazy. Like a classic. Like I don't white think cake. I've ever had a white cake. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had like a white cake. I've always had like a yellow cake. Yeah. I think that's, that's rare. Weird. She's rare. That's why it's all stocked. Yeah. <laughs> no what bean. Is that? <laughs> now that I think about it. We can pick whatever we want. I know, that's what I'm saying. Butter pecan? Ooh, that's pecan? Hella good. What do you say? Strawberry. I say pecan. I don't know what I say. And now I'm thinking about it, so I won't give you pecan. I think I say pecan. <gasps> pecan. You don't hit that pecan. I don't know, because you know what I say that's weird? And no one fucks with. What? I say bagel. bagel. Elementary school. I don't think I ever really say that word. Yeah, I'm always just like elementary. Everyone's like, why do you elementary. say elementary? Elementary. Why do you say elementary? Yeah, like, that's how I say it. You know people say too? I say orange weird. They're like orange. They spell it in the comments. R-N-G-E. I'm like, do you hear that? Orange. I'm like, orange. Orange. I don't know. Orange. I guess I do say orange, but like. But I feel like that's what. Maybe orange. it's like a jersey orange. thing. Orange. 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 Hitting that. Oh, like orange. The, it's like orange. Orange. Uh, like exactly. The, the oh, vowel oh, is going oh, I mean, orange. <laughs> Can I have oh, oranges? Oh, I say oranges. Oh, oh, oh. I say oranges for sure. Orange. I think it's a yeah, jersey thing. That. Orange. And Canadians uh, be talking about that. Sorry. Oh my god. Yeah, my sorry. cousins are Canadian, so it's crazy. They're like, sorry. everything sounds like a question, I feel like. <laughs> and they're like, the house? A boot. <laughs> well, I don't know what that's a boot. But a boot. I, if you guys want to go back to the house. <laughs> We can, and we can totally get link up there. I'm just kidding. Now Wait, I'm like is that Rihanna? Now I'm dying. Now it's now it's like it turned into like <laughs> Toronto Drake Rihanna like love child. What are we doing? Okay, let's begin. <laughs> I was like, this anyway, is not really weird. Really okay, fast. um, pineapple supreme. Ew. Ew. <laughs> I know. I'm like cinnamon dust cookie mix. I'm so sorry. These are like cinnamon dust. <gasps> cinnamon toast crunch Orange. coffee. Why is this giving me chills? Like, I don't know why this whole section is like, it's Del Fresco's. 
<laughs> come there. Anyways, are we gonna pick a <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what should we do? I'm good. You're the with... baker too, so like yeah, whatever you Yeah. I'm good with literally anything. Anything. We could take it super classic, do like a vanilla or a butter recipe, like a yellow I don't know or she's a like vanilla. Speaking to me like that, she looks so good. The like, yellow, yeah, but yeah, not the, the burger box. This not, yeah, okay. yeah. This is like a shoot. Okay, same. Like she just looks like yeah. that. Yeah, bam. So what we went with? Did we choose the Ding. same cake? What's your tea? What is your tea? Cause that red velvet look good, looks good too. Yeah, but is it is red velvet just chocolate with dry food on it? Hmm, I'm have to think about that. So I try one. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Let's well, just get butter and eggs anyway. Just okay. safe. And then we can get spicing. What is our kitchen called? Is it Mari? Yeah, I was gonna say Mari. Mari's Cafe. Kitchen. Ooh. On the list. Caramel apples. Caramel apples. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, wash them. Three red knives. Oh no. Oh my goodness. And wash them fingers underneath. Yeah, bro, I want you to do Because <laughs> they're so Lock. small, so it's getting And it's kind of like wiggling yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, why is she coming from the baby? <gasps> oh, why are you oh. slanting like that? <gasps> Careful. Yes, yes. <laughs> what what is the? that? <laughs> is there any mm. worth saving here? That one's not bad. Why is that doing? <laughs> <laughs> Should we just cut it old fashioned way? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. How do you even do that? Let me cut the whole stuff. How do mommies do it? I don't know, mommies, tell us. That looks good. That looks good. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, no, I mean, nah. Cooper. Or we can just like, we can just do like that. Yeah. Nice. nice. Okay, see, we, we figured it out. I'm excited. Gabriel's gonna love these. Yay. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Caramel? Caramel. 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 Ooh, I feel like she's like, I feel like that's pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Like Captain Hook. Oh, this is the one you gouged. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Why do I feel like it's looking scary? What's going on? Ew, is it better? I feel like they get it though. You wanna do one way and I'll do the other way? Yeah. Ready? Woo! 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 <laughs> She's not that running ahead. But still, like that's a great we're not, start. We're not getting too much movement. <laughs> is, he, is she a drizzler at all? Is, what is she okay? Give it to me. <laughs> This apple right here, she needs Extra. a little, yeah. Oh, Ooh. no, because we killed that. Just some almonds. The one landing right in the middle. <gasps> what do, what do you put there? there? Look. <laughs> oh, that just made everything perfect. Yeah. Which, Which one? one? I think I like her. I want her. She got some, she got a little bit of everything. Yeah. Oh, she has, she has. The chocolate mm -hmm. and the caramel is carrying. The Our apple spot. is dry as fuck. The apple can go somewhere. I couldn't do it without the apple. Just literally <laughs> give me caramel, caramel and chocolate, chocolate chips on a plate. I'd give it like a seven. It's easy and it's fun. It's best of your life. Exactly. We had a great time doing it. Fun as shit. Put me on top next. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Why is it like shit? Oh my god. Oh my god, I think I'm actually behind a shit truck. Mm. Anyways, focus on me. Hey guys, it's feeling like fall right now, baby. I'm so happy. I had so much fun. Me and Ari didn't get to finish like our full baking today. So I think she's gonna come over again this weekend. Then we're also gonna hang out with Ani this week. Oh my God, I can't wait to catch up. I'm so excited to See the girls and like fall we thrive in the fall like i brought the caramel apples i'm going over to mom i'm going over to mom and gabriel's the condo actually currently we're going to the movies right now yeah move the fuck over why is it not focusing on my face like i'm trying to drive I, i'm not really i'm really not trying to worry about the focus right now why are you not focused on me like the steering wheel is cool but like i'm literally right here hello Oh my god. I cannot believe how much this doesn't want to focus on my face. I'm gonna zoom it the fuck in then. Currently actually on the way to the movies. Me and mom are gonna go watch Smile. Gabriel's gonna meet us there um, a little bit later because he got a new job recently and he's so happy but it is farther away so like he gets home a little bit later. So I can't wait to catch up with them. I can't wait to just hang out and I'm gonna sleep over at the condo tonight. Like it's gonna be so cute. 
nights. I slept over a few weeks ago. Me and mom had like a spa day. It was so cute sleeping over there. Like I actually felt so safe in my little room. So I'll show you guys when we get there. But yeah, right now we're going to watch a scary movie. It's gonna be so scary. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I get there. Y'all, not me taking mom on a date, but I'm gonna be the third wheel now. This is for the vlog, mom. Us grannies are trying to figure out this movie. <laughs> Did you get it? Oh. Yep. <laughs> Just got spotted. Yes. Always get spotted. Hey guys. Hey. Movie I'm night. I'm not gonna eat this popcorn. Yeah, right. No, this is for Monet. <laughs> One is for Monet. And one yeah. is for you. For us. Ooh. Hey, you're fun, Emily. So what do you think, Gabriel? You guys, I'm not okay. I need to like run around the block. I need to do like a few cartwheels. Gabriel's freaking falling asleep. Yeah. He's like, I was Sorry. sitting too long. Oh my god. No, no, what's good? What's good? What's good? So, so good. yeah. So, so my review. So I love scary movies, right? Yeah, mom. I don't like gory ones, but I like like scary haunted like thriller yeah. type movies and that one <laughs> probably say it was a 10 honestly I, I don't have a lot of tens honestly yeah, um but the casting was amazing phenomenal like oh yeah good actress yes. who they put in each part like even she looked crazy you know because she looked yeah. so young but she looked old yeah and then like she, she was just so skinny yeah she just yeah. it didn't turn well like when she got messed up she looked did messed you see, up did you see her do you notice her hands yeah her hands no. were kind of beat up and all like she yeah. bites her nails all the time Oh my gosh. The the music, like the soundtrack, yeah, was perfect. crazy. Perfect. That was so good. Yes. The soundtrack the was so weird. Yeah. Yes. It just made me feel so weird. It was oh very God. eerie. Yeah. Like sickening. Right from the jump, like I already could tell I was like, this is gonna be a good movie. Because I can't watch movies or even like Netflix shows like with actors and stuff. Like I feel like I could just tell they're acting. Yeah. This one I was just like paralyzed i swear yeah even the first girl like the first psych girl yes. ended up like as i said i said she was so good when you said that i was one. like yeah her acting was she was a really good actress wow. like i believed her wow yeah. yeah and it was a lot of freaking build up no, they, 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 i think they that's changed. why i'm so sh shooken they, up they, when they changed the scene like a pop mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's like <laughs> every 10 minutes yeah. and you're like waiting Waiting, waiting. It's like, gosh. Yeah. But like, it was like perfect. It's like you knew it was coming, but like mm -hmm. it still was unexpected. Yeah. Because the ones were like, I'm like not expecting at all. And it really, like, I mean, that's a really good jump scare yeah. when you're not expecting it. Yeah. But I, for me and my nerves, like, I like to be able to just like, you know, squint a little bit, like, peek my eyes. Oh my God. Yeah. There was, was one moment I actually screamed. Was that loud? You were, I, well, I felt you. And I saw you like jump. <laughs> Did you hear me <laughs> scream? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was, was one part, like, I could not even control it. Like, I did not see it coming. That was a jump scare where I didn't see it coming. And yeah. I literally was like, oh my God. Yeah. You guys, like, I could not. I was cracking my knuckles. Like, my feet were shaking the whole time. Like, I kept, like, yeah. oh, wow. There was a lot of suspense and build up. Wow. <laughs> and it had to do with, like, a psych nurse. And, like, I was so into psych. And I, I got her, and I just felt so bad because she was, she was the one who got cursed. <clears throat> and obviously, she's like, I know this is so wrong. Like, I know you're going to think I'm crazy. I can't explain this. Like, oh my god, I was just like, grah. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Okay, we're we're gassing up the movie. If you guys want to see it, this is probably the best. Like, if you're into horror, thriller, scary, yeah. like this is the movie Halloween of the season. season. Would, you, would you recommend it? Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. If, I'm not really. Honestly, I don't know if I'm into scary or not. Like, now that I've seen it, I would go watch it again with my friends. But like, it's not really my first choice to watch something scary. But I'm. Especially, this is the horror movie. That's why I was queen. so surprised when you said you wanted to see Smile. I was like, let's do it. I was like, and then right when you said that, I looked at the trailer. I was like, oh yeah, I can see this. Mm. Oh my gosh, mom, that was so good. Oh my yeah. god, I remember the first time I ever watched Conjuring, and I remember after I was like, that was so good. Yeah. And that's how I feel about this one, where it's just like, man, I wish I could watch it for the first time again. Yeah. But like, also, I'm really excited to share it with my friends. Like, I told Ari, I was like, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh, like if you want to feel something in life, if you want to feel something, yeah. go watch that movie. Yeah. 
Yeah, really yeah. good acting. I just, I can't get yeah. past that. She was, she nailed it. I, I know, right? And I didn't even think about the time either, like how long we were in there. Like it mm -hmm. was just like, I need to figure out so, what happened. I need to know what mm -hmm. happened. Yeah, I, I knew, I had in. a feeling the ending was gonna happen that way with this one. Um, I don't it, know, I yeah. just thought it, you know? I was like, there's no way. Cause it, it it's like a heavy movie too, you know what yeah. I mean? It's so heavy. I was, yeah, I was kind of feeling too. I was like, how is she gonna like beat this? Yeah. Who wrote this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The setup. Yeah. Wow. Award, you know? yeah. yeah. It's good, good. Wow. Good. This is the first weekend I came out too, right? Yeah. First night. Yeah. This is the first night. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. So by the, guys, by the time you guys have seen this, you've probably already seen it if you're into movies. Like it's been two weeks since then. Yeah. But I want to tell Instagram too. So, um, vlog. That was crazy. Thank God I'm <laughs> sleeping at the condo tonight. I'm going to be in between Mama Gabriel literally like biting my nails. Oh my God. Yeah, it's creepy it's like yeah. a good scary though it's not one where like you quote like i don't feel that spooked like mm -hmm. i think if i was going back to the apartment by myself tonight i definitely like feel like yeah anxious and just like yeah. yeah i'm so glad you're coming with us yeah yeah oh from, my gosh no what's good from the beginning from the beginning mm -hmm. oh my gosh that was Stress. so good and the fact that it was scary low-key like from the first like 10 minutes like you got you got I thought scared. that was the whole movie. Literally. The first 10 minutes. <laughs> like, they're gonna let you know, like, oh, we are not playing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow, yeah. that was crazy. Crazy. Okay, vlog. What's that good I'm choice? ready for Halloween. Yeah, and that was a perfect start to a season. Like, <laughs> oh! <laughs> now we're gonna watch the Kardashians for a palate cleanser. <laughs> I, need, I need some reality dumb shit. Like, please. We need, uh, we need some trash TV. Yeah. Come, come here. This is a cute shot. Hey, bro. Welcome home. Hi vlog. We're back home. Yay. Don't smile. <gasps> Don't smile. Oh my gosh. <laughs> granny, granny, granny. Why? Ari calls me her huevo. Like a little egg. That's what you look like right now. Oh, and this is the egg pot that I was telling you about, Ari. Look! This was really full to the brim, like. Oh, we're running low. And mom said she's cringing because I have my shit like laid out. I'm waiting for you to drop something. <laughs> Should I get my room for the night? Ooh. Look how mom folded the bed. Yay. <laughs> it looks so cute in here. I love it in here, you guys. Look, she got a damn. Charger for me. Oh, she got me a loofah and toothpaste. And look how pretty this is. Like, I'm about to start getting ready over here. This is where me and mom, mom filmed the unboxing of the, our new, what? Of my new phone. Anyway, welcome to my room. Like, I'm still spooked from the movie. Like, that shit has me, like, <laughs> I'm so fucked up. Get real. <laughs> it's spooky. Yeah, I made sure I closed the blinds and the Yeah, in my room? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Going Scary. Wait, look what I have, Gabriel. What is that? Caramel apples. Oh, <laughs> did you? Did, you did it? Yes, I made them today. Here, they get a chocolate chip on it. Come on, hey, really? Yeah. Good. You gotta get more chocolate. What is this? Caramel. What's good idea? Yeah, I'll show you the picture. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. Thank you. Say. And then we already started making the cake pops, but we couldn't finish them in time. Good job. Great. <laughs> yeah, so we'll make the cake pops. We're just chilling here with my grannies. Look at them. I can't find my scrunchies. Look at you. I haven't seen my shower cap yet. Look at you guys. I love it. You guys are so cute. Who's your favorite Kardashian? You tell the vlog. We gotta update the vlog. It's still the same as last time. I forget what you said for Instagram. Because you put it on Instagram. All right. So initially, it was always Chloe. Yeah. We are Chloe stands. Still always. We love all the Kardashians. Yeah. She's been... Her decisions lately is kind of... I don't... I, it's a little bit of that. And then a little bit of just knowing more about Kim. And Kim also growing up too. You know, over the, Kim? Oh, yeah. Over the years. So it's kind of like between Kim and Chloe. Who's your least favorite? Tell them. The negative Nelly, the troll. Oh my gosh, Mama's so such a hater, y'all. Brittany. 
Mama hates. I don't like. I don't know what it is. She's just always so stink about everything. Just never wants to do anything. Doesn't want to work. Doesn't want to be bothered. But accepts that paycheck all the fucking time. You know. Mama's bitter. I am. She just sent me her multivitamin. She has a new brand called Lemmy. You want to try them? Mm -hmm. My favorite Kardashian. I am a King Kylie stan. Like. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> King Kylie stan. Like, oh my gosh, she's in her era right now. Let me see her in Pasha Paris. What? Paris Fashion Week? Yeah. Scaparelli. She, she looks like a whole woman. And Lo Wei show. Lo Wei Wei. Lo Wei. Um, Lo Wei Wei show. Oh my gosh, she's eating down right now. And like, she's just popping off. I love her and Travis and Stormy. Like, I just love that trio. Love Kimberly. Oh my gosh, Kim is killing it too, Fashion Week. You see her chow Kim? No. With Dolce & Gabbana? Oh my gosh, she's eating down. Oh my God, I'm just living for it. Kim and Kylie right now, for sure. I don't hate any of them, but Kendall, she's a stank one to me. Yo, when Kim and Courtney were fighting, the smack. Yo, you need to insert that clip in here. Chloe. <laughs> like, yes. Oh my gosh, she's over here like beat her ass. Oh my gosh. Chloe's like, guys, she stop. Anyway, y'all, we'll be here. We'll be chilling with my grain. Oh, you took the cap off? Yeah. It was too much. <laughs> it was too much. Cuz your hair is laid. Like, why did you have that damn cap on? I just took a shower. <laughs> My cap is the first thing that comes off of the shower. You will not catch me lacking in that thing. Remember I didn't have my shower cap at the Airbnb? I did the damn garbage bag. Why did I do at the hotel the night? Me and Carol did the same exact thing. It was like, why do we always forget the shower cap? The trash bag on your head too? Yes. The one that they put your clothes in. Comment down below if you ever put a trash bag because you forgot your shower cap. I'd be sleeping good as hell at the condo. I don't know what it is about that room and that bed and that cozy ass little room. Like, oh. Mom's getting ready. It's currently 10 a.m. She has some things to do today. So I'm gonna just chill with Gabriel and just edit all day. And for the girls that are curious, I use Adobe Rush to edit my YouTube videos. Good morning. Shit. Good morning. <laughs> Back to ending. Special toast. Ooh. Girl, it's gonna be bussing. Ah. <laughs> she is a blessing. Dude, the walk girls love you. They're, they're so sweet. I love them, man. They always just reach out to me and congratulate me for things and just tell me how much they appreciate our relationship. That, like, that makes me so freaking happy. Yeah. Like, yo, we really get to share our relationship. Yeah. And people really feel like they're part of it. Like, just, that's so, mm -hmm. so sweet. Yeah. I mean, because that's really, I'm going to get deep here. Do it. But that's all we really want is just connection. Literally. Yeah. Spreading good vibes, breakfast vibes. Saturday, gloomy morning. It's fall. Mom's making this bus in bread. Gabriel's <laughs> chirping over there, y'all. Chirpiana. <laughs> Bussy bus. Oh, this bread? Bussy bus. Ow! <laughs> Y'all don't play with mom. She got her salt and pepper. The coffee. Ooh, coffee station. You even see that. And you got the towel rack that says towels in the bathroom. Yes. Uh, I hope you enjoy that. Thanks, mommy. You're welcome, sweetie. Oh, this dead ass is pepper. Like, you did that. Mm -hmm. Yes, pepper legs. Once a week, y'all. Gotta get the wings. H3 Friday. Wait in the fries. Oh my god, the cheese fries. I'm drooling. I'm living. I'm actually staying at the condo one more night because I don't finish editing the vlog. And why not? I'm still a little spooked. 
and I don't really want to go back to the apartment just like by myself. Like, why not just hang out with the grannies? So Saturday night, we vibe and we chilling. We're making pumpkins, y'all. No one said it was going well, though. The shoes. And go for shoes. Not only the real ass pumpkin, bro. Why is the it like the little crazy little dimples, the little like bumps and rumps that like aren't too crazy? Then I'm better off not being around you. The gourds and the vocal cords. Oh! I got you, I got you dreaming. Oh my god, why does every fucking pumpkin fall apart, bro? Oh shit. Oh, I have to be so cute. Hold on, these are <laughs> I'm trying to make new holes and they're not hanging. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> the way I try to add it. Like, she's beautiful. <laughs> Yo. No, I like, she's really pretty. <laughs> Yo, what is this? Girl, what happened? She's, so she's, so so cute. she's high key like the main character. Like, she's disgusting. Oh, I, I love, love her. her. Why are they all so leaning with that swag? Good. Our pumpkin patch, like, it doesn't have to be perfect, bro. I love them. I'm just so grateful. Okay, uh, I have so many things I want to say right now. That's literally why I picked up the camera. Oh my gosh. I've been fucking up these caramel apples. Honestly, like they're really dangerous because it's the way I made a batch of like five apples yesterday. And to think that I have five, I ate in five entire apples is like insane. Mommy watching my vlog from last week. Like that was my favorite vlog ever. If you guys didn't watch last week's vlog in California with my family. And if you guys did watch that vlog, like was that not the cutest one ever? If I'm ever feeling down, I'm going to watch that and I can't wait to see them again. Like being with my siblings is everything. I just love them so much. And I'm so grateful for the response. Like I was pretty, I felt kind of like hesitant on just sharing my family, sharing my life. Like if anyone plays with my family guys, like I swear that is the one thing that like will turn me rotten. Don't play about my siblings. Don't play about my mama. Don't play about my dad. Don't play about anyone I love. Like, like the way I'm literally getting mad right now. But like seeing the response, like I was so, I was smiling so big and bad, like scrolling through the comments. Like they're like, Moss is so cute. I'm like, I know. And they're like, Asher's funny as fuck. And I was like, I know. And like for you guys to love them, even like a fraction of how I love them, just made me really happy. Like that vlog dead ass like made me so happy. Like I'm up, I'm ready for the day now. Like don't play. The house is a mess, you guys. It's crazy trying to adjust to this new apartment life. 
by myself. There's no real like deadline that I need to do stuff by, like in terms of keeping the apartment cute. Yeah, I'm like, usually like Mom and Gabriel would come home at like 6 p.m. Sorry if the street is loud, but like the air is real nice, like it's crispy fall, it's raining, like ooh, vibes. But like Mom and Gabriel come home by 6 p.m. So I'm like, oh, I know I need to wash the dishes, I need to clean the kitchen, like it needs to be done before they get home. Because last thing I want to hear is Mom coming around the corner like, when I come home, ah! It's gonna be clean, girl. It's gonna be clean, clean. Don't worry. Nowadays, I'm like, me and Ari were up until fucking 5 a.m. last night watching Dahmer eating fucking chicken tenders, running around the apartment, like. So I'm like, here I am. I don't even know what time it is. It's 3.45. Um, and I got a package today, and like, I looked at it, and something about that package just looked like it was a good one. Like, it was weird. Like, I was looking at it, I was like, I don't know what this is, but this is a good one. Like, I just felt it. I opened this one, baby. Baby! Baby! Look who it is! Monet, happy September! Hope those hope these new threads keep you cozy and comfy, Teddy Fresh. Like, yes! I'm just such a big comfy girl. Like, all of us are live our best life in comfy shit. First of all, it's Teddy Fresh! Like, out of all the comfy PR I could ever be on, like, this is so iconic. First thing we got is a beanie. Oh my God, it's so cute. And it's kind of small, but like it's perfect. Can I get this centered on my head? It's kind of small, but it's like perfect. It's definitely like a Cali beanie. Oh, it is a Los Angeles based brand. I see a sweatsuit in here. <gasps> wait, actually the, wait, wait. Okay, pause on the sweatsuit. There's no fucking way in the world because I saw Ethan wearing this last episode. This is the coolest tie I've ever seen. And like every H3, Teddy Fresh is a brand made by Ela Klein, the queen of H3 podcasts, the wife, the fucking queen, woman, mother, icon. I love her so much. She's literally the main reason why I watch the show. Like every Friday I'm like, Ela, like what you gotta say, queen? I'm listening, like I'm your biggest fan. So she's literally the CEO, creator, designer, like everything of Teddy Fresh and everything she does is iconic. And Ethan was wearing this tie dye one and I was like, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen because it looks like blood. It looks like, it looks spooky, but it's so cool, like the colors. And I actually was going to message Teddy Fresh like, and I usually do not do that. But since they're so gracious with like gifting, like so sweet, so awesome. What are the odds? Is this not the coolest looking tie dye you've ever seen though? Like, I don't know, it just looks like blood. And it's just cool as shit. Something about it just was like, I see you, Ela. I see you with that tie-dye. Like, I ain't never seen something like this. Like, it looks stained, it looks dirty, but it's sexy and fresh. Like, that's actually insane. I'm so happy right now. Like, this is my favorite package. I, I knew this was gonna be a good one. For some reason, I saw this package, I was like, this is gonna be a good one. So they sent me the cutest, so it's kind of like an embroidered, oh my god, it's so cute. Because I'm just such a stan. Oh, so cute. I love this sketch. They have this one on the doodle sweatsuit. Don't hurt my feelings. And then some socks. Oh, <gasps> look. <laughs> oh my god, that's adorable. You guys watch Wee Bear Bears? Did you ever watch that show? It's giving Wee Bear Bears. But we just need the panda. I'm, I'm lit right now. I'm gonna work on getting a code from Teddy Fresh because I feel like... I would love a code. I'm sure some of, some of y'all would love to rock some Teddy Fresh. I feel like I kind of want to end the vlog here. Like, I wasn't going to do a full weekly vlog again this week. You know what's really popping right now? Like, decluttering, closet cleanouts, makeup cleanouts. Like, there's this new feature on my analytics on YouTube. Like, when I look through, like, my stats and, like, how my videos are performing, there's this one thing where you can see what your viewers are searching, which is a really cool feature. And I'll check it every once in a while, and I'm like, what are the girls looking like for? And it's honestly pretty up to date and like super. And recently I've seen a lot of mukbangs. I was like daily vlogs we're looking at. There was a content, content gap, which I learned means like there's a lack of video content for what people are searching. So they're searching daily vlog, but there's not a lot of videos that are coming up, but a lot of people are looking for it. So that's cool. Like learning like a content gap. I'm like, maybe I'll start doing daily vlogs, but like my weeks, I feel like there's like more fun throughout the week than in one day. Cause if I vlog my daily, my day today, yeah, I scrolled on TikTok all fucking day. I woke up at 11. I literally had the shakies, but it was like, why am I have like the fucking shakies hungover as fuck? I'm like, it's Monday. 
hey, you have time to hop on a call really quick? I'm like, fuck. I'm like, let me brush my teeth. Let me just, let me just, yeah, one second. Scrolled on TikTok, edited. Anyway, I'm literally just like, I'm just like talking right now. Anyway, yeah, I'm still deciding what video I'm going to do for next week's video. So comment down below. Leave some, like, suggestions. I always love to see what you guys are interested in on my YouTube. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was so fun. We went to the movies with Mom and Gabriel. We made some apple slices. We made pumpkin cake pops. We did. What else did we do? I don't know. We hung at the condo. Like, it was just good vibes to be home. And the weather, like, it's giving fall. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. It really helps your girl out. Leave a comment down below what you want what you would like to see on my YouTube, what your favorite part of this vlog was. Yeah, I love you. See you in the next one. Bye.